Hi guys, I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever and I'm whispering because it is literally 12.56 a.m. on Monday, August 7th. Today I have the day off from work. All government workers do. Ignore my skin, it's been breaking out. Technically today is the day before my NCLEX. I have booked my NCLEX for Tuesday, August 8th at 12 o'clock p.m. and I just wanted to pick up the camera and talk for documentation's sake, but also, maybe if somebody's watching this and they're feeling the exact same way that I was, maybe this can help you. I don't know. Originally, my exam was booked for, I believe, the 22nd of August, but I just felt like, you know, I was getting close to finishing my QBank, which I did finish on Archer just like the other day. I just felt like, you know what, I'm done my QBank and a lot of people were like, once you finish all your questions, like don't wait longer than like a week max to do your exam. So here I am. I will show you guys my Archer scores and everything. I feel prepared, but then at the same time, I feel like I'm not. And everyone kind of tells you like, you're never going to feel 100% prepared going into the NCLEX and you're gonna go and you're gonna write the test and you're gonna feel like you guessed a lot. And I just hate knowing that that's what everybody says because I feel like I need to know everything and i need to cover all my bases and it's just kind of hard like you can with the nclex but like there's also going to be stuff on the nclex that you haven't studied and that like kills me on the inside knowing that that's a possibility but you know it is what it is i decided that i'll just go and and try and you know i i think i'm ready but at the end of the day we'll see right so it is just like so crazy to me today though i had like i had a really bad like upset stomach like no appetite i had breakfast and a little snack and like coffee and i haven't eaten anything after that which is like bad but i just you know when you get that anxiety in your stomach and you feel a lump in your throat like the last thing you want to do is eat and i was working out but i kept thinking about the NCLEX, so i was listening to simple nursing and i just kind of was not in it and i just like stopped my workout and then obviously it wasn't doing well and had a little bit of an anxious cry like all of a sudden it just like hit me at once and i started crying so that's that yeah if you're like in this position it's normal it's really overwhelming it's obviously a big exam but what can you do you know so i'm gonna show you guys my scores and how i've been prepping it's technically the day before my end clicks i know that usually the day before people say like not to study too much I'll, I'll probably do like a little bit of reviewing my rationales maybe one question set of my incorrect questions and then just reviewing i think i'll re-listen to mark k lecture 12 and i think that's it usually people say not to like study the day before so i'm gonna really try my best to just get my studying done by like noon and then take the evening afternoon off but i'm like so nervous but i'm gonna show you guys what i've been studying with so this is a study guide that one of my good good family friends purchased last year as she prepped for the NCLEX so she got this off of Etsy and she actually sent this to me like literally like I think I was in third year and it has been so helpful like I've listened to the lectures but then this has been really nice for review and just to have like tangible like paper to work with so it's really nice this is the table of contents it literally covers all the things from his lectures and obviously important things that like you need to know so i obviously went in and like i added a few notes here and there like of my own stuff um but yeah it, this has been very very helpful in my preparation i find and I really like having like tangible things with me when I'm studying and when I'm like finalizing my studying. So this has been really nice um, for me personally. So I've been using this to like learn content and like kind of like solidify the content that I've learned and then like also re to like reinforce the Mark K lecture material. I've just opened up my Archer and I'll show you guys what my statistics are. So I ended up buying the NCLEX rapid review combo with the on demand. Um but I really only use like the on demand. I have a ton of videos. Let me show you guys. But I really only use this for the comprehensive crash course day one and day two. Um, and then other than that, like, I didn't really watch any of the other videos, to be honest. I used, like, Simple Nursing, um, 
really instead to like supplement and I listened to a little bit of NCLEX High Yield but um yeah so this is my queuing so you can see I've literally used everything except for one question that's my total correct uh, versus my incorrect and from what I've seen is if you have 60% then you're good to go um 60% at least you can see here 64.1% percent and then subject statistics i've been like in the 60s i think honestly my like lower end is probably pharmacology yeah so that's that and then archer also has readiness assessments and cat exams so i will show you my um scores for that so typically they say if you get four high slash very high in a row it's a 98.5 percent chance of passing so obviously as you guys can see there is highs and many very highs and then there is a borderline here and let me tell you guys this like shattered me but if you actually go in and look at the where is it let me find it this is the one that i got borderline on and if you look at it here you can literally see i was within like the average like the class average or like the peer average was literally borderline but this loki shattered me and like really really like ripped down my confidence i'm not gonna lie sorry i'm clicking all over the place it's probably so distracting so that was for that but regardless you can see i've done 17 readiness assessments and they've all been high scoring um besides that one borderline but that was the average for it i did my first one i don't even know when did i do my first readiness assessment on july 16th oh yeah it's funny we actually had a dinner party at my house and i just like did it at like 10 p.m and then my most recent one was done on august 4th and that was my very last readiness assessment and now it is the seventh and i just finished the rest of my q bank and then that was pretty much it and then for cat exams i believe i did three yeah so basically with the cat exam what happened is um i passed both these two in 85 the one that i failed you'll see where i can find that i was so tired and i literally just wanted to get it done like went through it in like 15 minutes like it was ridiculous like look at that i started it at 1106 and i finished it at 11 32 p.m that is not normal i just like wanted to go through it and just see like what would happen and obviously that was dumb because i failed it and you can see like i started off strong and then i just like gave up so there was that <laughs> she did not do so well on that but for the other two cats i did pass them and they um shut off at 85 ignore the percentages when it comes to cats it's really just to give you an idea of like the adaptive testing and then um archer says like a better indicator of your readiness is obviously the readiness assessment so those are my statistics in case anybody was wondering but yeah and then the last thing that i did sorry it's very dark i just have one lamp on in my room but this is kind of what i did today um, so I wrote some topics on the left side that I wanted to kind of just like go over and then from those I took the most like high priority ones that I really felt kind of stuck on and I started with those. Most of these other things like you can see here, a lot of like the electrolyte stuff I think I'm pretty okay with honestly as well as the Addison's, Cushing's, DI, like all this stuff I'm pretty okay with. Um, insulins i was struggling with so what i did is i just like wrote this on a whiteboard and this was a really like fun um not fun but like a really staple for my studying in nursing school i would actually use this whiteboard and target high yield topics or stuff that i was struggling with so i figured i would do that um so yeah i wrote out insulin stuff there and that really helped me and then i kept mixing up rubiola which is measles and rubella for the isolation precaution so i did that as well um i just practiced the little abg like chart diagram thing that i learned from simple nursing and it is very helpful as well um and then just like the little thing ph and bicarb same direction is metabolic they're the deadly lives as for mark k so i wrote those as well and then warfarin and heparin i was confusing like i don't know so 
I went through that and then I made this little like quadrant drawing for all the little like the different kinds of pains you can have with GI diseases as well as like their signs so cholecystitis with Murphy sign and then appendicitis McBurney Cullen's pancreatitis and then ulcerative colitis but yeah that's kind of just what I have for today I didn't erase it yet because I was still kind of reviewing it and then I kind of went over everything else um, I did go over like maternity and I've been reviewing peds vital signs isolation precautions I've been over but yeah th that's kind of how I decided to tackle this stuff so and I'm probably gonna just leave this here literally until the day of my test I might add a few more things on it but yeah so you guys can see I've kind of done a lot um, and then I also listened to NCLEX Crusade International for like test taking strategies I like literally look so crazy my skin looks so rough right now that is how i've been studying and that's kind of how i'm feeling like i low-key when i talk about all the things i've done to study it might seem like it's a lot but i feel like i didn't do a, a ton of content review i just did like comprehensive reviews briefly at the beginning to kind of start my studying because i've only studied for like i don't know a month and i haven't done like it super vigorously i've just been doing like readiness assessments um so i listened to those two comprehensive reviews just to kind of get things started for archer um, and kind of refresh my mind because I didn't start studying until like three months after nursing school was done and there was a lot of content that I hadn't seen since like 2021. If you're in the same boat as me, we got this. We've studied, we've prepared, we've been getting good scores. We just need to not overthink. We need to get our testing strategies. We need to use them and we need to not let our anxiety overtake us. But anyway, it is literally 1 11 p.m. now. So I'm gonna brush my teeth and try to go to bed. And I'll pick up the camera tomorrow morning. Hi everybody. Happy test day. I can't believe I'm literally saying that. I'm gonna vomit. I, it is, I don't even have my watch on because you can't have it on during the test, but it is 10.33 and I, I'm going to be leaving in like 10 minutes. Now that I have my sweater on, I, I'm feeling better. I'm just going to do one braid going back. I like to have my hair on my face for whenever I'm doing tests and stuff. Basically, we're, um, we're leaving at 10.45. Actually, both of my parents are driving me, which is like really nice. I, and I'm really, really glad that my parents are able to do that because... It just takes like the stress and anxiety off of me having to worry about like parking and stuff like that. I don't know, parking situations and stuff can just be really stressful. It's one of those things that can stress me out. Yeah guys, I guess this is like it. Like I know what I know at this point and I'm like going in with the mindset that there will be stuff that I don't know. And that's kind of just like life. Like that is how the NCLEX is. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take my time with every single question. I'm gonna use a little whiteboard that they provide and think out my answer choices and stuff. And I'm just gonna go in there with a positive mind and I'm gonna try my best. At the end of the day, it is what it is. It's an adaptive exam and no two people's exam is the same. And that's just the way things are. That's like just how it goes. So yeah, I'm feeling... Like, I'm feeling mixed emotions. I'm kind of happy that I can, like, you know, finally get it done with. And, like, for me, it kind of feels surreal. Like, how is it NCLEX day already? And then a part of me is always like, well, you could have done more. You could have studied more. Could have done more. And, you know, a part of me, like, really wanted to cram this morning before the test. But, like, at the end of the day, there's no point in cramming. If you didn't know it yesterday, you're not going to know it today. Like, you know what you know and that's that. Well, I'm going to show you guys what I'm bringing. I'm not going to be bringing my camera. So, honestly, like, this clip is filmed at home. And then you're probably not going to see me pick up the camera until I come back home after my test. To be honest, I don't really want to vlog in the car on my way to the exam center because I feel like it's just going to make me more nervous. I don't know why. I'm not taking a backpack. I'm just going to take my, like, a Lulu bag and I'm just going to put my stuff in here. So, basically, sorry guys, I did not make my bed today. Basically, I'm going to take with me my wallet obviously that has my id in it but i'm taking my passport as well just in case i'm paranoid and then obviously my glasses i'm taking a protein bar i don't know i don't usually get hungry during tests because my anxiety goes through the roof but in the odd chance like if i'm there for the full five hours or whatever and i need a break then i have that and then same thing goes for water i'm just taking one of these waters because it's obviously easier to hold than like my jug and that's everything that I'm taking with me. So, so I am 
going to head out shortly to head on our way to the test. Um, I know they say come like 30 minutes early, so my test is at 12 and we're leaving at 10.45 and it's like a 20 minute, 25 minute drive or give or take depending on traffic. Let's say I get there at like 11.10, I probably won't go in until like 11.20 or 25 or something and then go in i was told that sometimes if you go in earlier you can actually start your test earlier which i wouldn't mind personally because then it's like i'm just starting and i don't have to sit with my thoughts for like any longer than i need to but anyway i'm gonna go i'm gonna literally go to the bathroom because you know you need to do that test anxiety and then i'm gonna head out you guys i don't know i don't know so i'm gonna go and write my hand clicks now and i will talk to you guys I can't believe I'm saying this when I'm done. So, I feel like I've been looking so disheveled, like, the entirety of this vlog. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I've been looking rough. I've, I've had better days. But it is 3.08 p.m. and I'm back for my exam. I'm back from writing the NCLEX and I want to sit down and talk to you guys about my thoughts and how I felt during the exam and the entire process as well. So my exam was for 12 o'clock and we got to the testing center at 11. I sat in the car for like 10, 12 minutes with my family and just kind of like decompressed, not my family, with my parents, and I just kind of decompressed and then I felt like I was ready to go in. So I entered into the like building lobby and I was so confused on where to go there was another girl there who was going to write her exam as well she's writing the nclex pn and we kind of figured out together we had to go up to the eighth floor so you guys are writing in the ottawa east end um make sure you just go into the lobby and go up to the eighth floor i completely missed that part in the email that pearson sent me because it was like at the very very bottom so you go up to the eighth floor and then you just turn left and it's like a little waiting room so you enter in and then they give you a sheet that has like all the instructions and like test policies i guess and procedures for your nclex and then basically the like lady working there i guess the clerk is like you can't have your phone on here and you can't use your phone in this room so you have to step out if you're gonna use your phone otherwise like shut your phone off basically but i was so like anxious and like nervous that i couldn't remember how to power down my phone i know so i literally stepped out of the hall i took my phone out and i literally googled how to shut down iphone like i couldn't remember i i don't know i was like brain farting yeah that's when you're nervous you do stupid things so i shut it, my phone off and then i came back in and then i finished reading like the little paper she gave me i gave it back to her and she called one by one like everybody up so there was me and two other girls in the waiting room so she calls you up and basically you show your id you have to scan both of your palms on like a scanner um like i did two times each you have to sign something and they take your picture and then they assign you a locker where you can put all your stuff so i just had my lulu bag it's, this is like a good size like if you're going for your test um at least at my facility like the lockers were like a square so this is a good size to take because it, it it's like a good enough space and then basically then the proctor brings you to the back and they I like took my sweatshirt off, I had to show my arms, um, I had to like show the back of my neck to make sure there wasn't anything there. Um, I took my glasses off and they put it on like this like rotator thing and they like inspected my glasses to make sure there was nothing in there. I emptied all my pockets out, I like pat down my legs to show them that there was nothing in there. She went over the test rules with me outside um, and then basically they have noise cancelling headphones at the desk or noise like cancelling ear plugs i guess what they're called so personally me throughout nursing school i did have accommodations which i did not take accommodations for the nclex so we will see i basically went in with the proctor the proctor assigned me to my cubicle and then logged in for me and then you basically just start your exam what am i going to say regarding the exam uh first of all they did like bold like certain things like priority first best like those type of words they did bold um, so that was nice and also you can highlight on the NCLEX like if you're reading through something and you want to like highlight it you can like highlight it with your cursor but it doesn't stay highlighted like I know you world will stay highlighted this does not stay highlighted but you can like still like highlight it if you know what I mean like while you're reading it as long as your cursor is held over it so yeah in terms of my exam the content wise it was a good mix of stuff I had no peds I had a couple EKGs I had no med math I had a lot of psych, I had a good amount of OB, and a lot of people, like, I was reading online, read it, and they said they had a lot of psych and a lot of OB. I had, like, prioritization, I think I had, like, one or two delegation questions, and then I had a ton of select all that applies, I had a ton of case studies, 
and then I had two bow tie questions which were actually so hard and I'm pretty sure I got them wrong like the two bow ties were towards the end of my exam and then I had like a third select all that applied then my exam shut off but like literally was so hard like I was guessing and I had no idea what I was putting like up for those bow tie questions but like during the exam I didn't really feel stressed or anything um, I didn't find it to be that bad besides like the end when I was like, okay, I don't know what's going on. So that's why it's definitely a super weird feeling. My exam did not shut off at 85 questions, but I know I didn't go through to the 150. Basically at around question 74 and you have a counter in the top right of your screen, I decided to hide the counter because I didn't want to be preoccupied like constantly looking at the number as I was approaching 85 so I just hit it and then I kept doing questions and I was like hey like these questions are not ending um, so I hovered over the counter again and it was at like 94 and then I hit it again and then I did a couple more questions and then um, I had like my super hard bow tie questions and my last SATA and I was like hey after this last SATA which was OB which I'm pretty sure I got wrong I was like, I'm going to check my question score. But obviously that was my last question, so my exam shut off after that. So yeah, don't know how I feel about that exam, but I did not come out crying and I didn't feel like I didn't know anything on the exam. Like I know a lot of people say like, expect to know nothing and I kind of went in with that mentality. So maybe that's why I wasn't like crying or super disappointed, but I did feel like there was a lot of stuff that I did study, but then there were stuff that I was like, what are you asking me? So I don't know, it could go either way. I'm not really sure. Um, it was just like a very empty feeling after the exam. I know people on like TikTok and YouTube and Reddit and wherever on the internet, they're like, you know, I don't know how to describe how I'm feeling. Like, I don't know. And like, you literally don't know that feeling until like after you've done your NCLEX and you're like, okay, like, I don't know how I feel. I feel like empty inside. Anywho, it is what it is. Do I feel confident that I passed? No. Do I feel confident that I failed? Also, no. So we'll see. Results? in like Ontario or at least in my city they are posted like really quickly 4 a.m. the next day so I really just have to get through this day and then um I don't know how I'm gonna sleep at night if I'm being honest but I'm gonna be checking I'm probably gonna set an alarm in the middle of the night let's be honest to check what if I passed or not I did get the good pop-up so I did this Pearson view trick so basically you finish your exam and then you get an email from Pearson like 10 15 minutes after saying that you completed your NCLEX exam and then that's when you can do your Pearson view trick I was trying to do it on my phone and it wasn't working so I logged on to my computer and I did it and I did get the good pop-up and I did this about 40 minutes ago yes I'm sitting in the on my uh, floor right now but I wanted to show you guys what I was talking about so these are the different pop-ups that you can get you can pause the screen and read it in case this is something that you're just hearing about for the first time or whatever the case may be so those are the pop-ups and then I just did it again and I got this which is the good pop-up let's see if this is accurate okay you guys it is now 10 41 p.m. And I just finished working out, so my hair is looking even crazier. I mean, honestly, this entire video, I have looked so bad. I feel like I'm looking rough, but go look at my Instagram. <laughs> look at my other videos. I don't always look this great gray. I'm going to shower. And I am, like, counting down the hours. I know that usually people get the results at 4 a.m., so I'm hoping there's that. And then I keep, like, reading Reddit and watching TikTok videos about, like, the Pearson view trick, the one that I was just talking about, and whether it's actually accurate or not, and the majority of people are saying it's accurate, but then there's obviously some people that are saying that it's not, so I don't know what to believe, honestly, but I've done a good job at keeping myself busy today. Let's just say it's 11, so we have five more hours to go. Oh my god, you guys, it's 4.30 in the morning and I passed my NCLEX. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did it. I don't know. Like, I don't know what to think. I set an alarm. I slept, first of all, at like 1 a.m. and I couldn't sleep. I set an alarm for 4 and I, like, didn't see anything in my inbox and I was just so tired. So I just went back to sleep. It is 4.31 and I just, like, randomly woke up. And I saw that I, oh my god, stop, I can't even speak. I saw that I got an email from the college saying that I passed. <laughs> I can't believe it. So Pearson view trick is accurate, but I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm done. I can't believe I passed my NCLEX. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm done. And I just want to like run and 
tell everybody <laughs> I passed. I can't believe it. I don't know how I'm going to go back to sleep now. <laughs> now that I am done and I passed my NCLEX, and yes, that's my toilet, and yes, that's my sink, I can start to clean up and get rid of my notes. So I basically had these post-it notes just on my bathroom counter that I could look at whenever I was in here whether it was like getting ready or brushing my teeth or whatever and I can literally just get rid of these now and this feels so good it feels so surreal and then I have this whiteboard here which I showed you guys that had like all these things that I was focusing on um closer to my exam sorry my bedroom lights off it's like 10 a.m almost well 9 45 the lights are just off. I don't know. I'm vibing. Well, I'm working in the dark in my room. Anyways. Yeah, so I had all these things here. And actually, like, none of these were on my exam. So that's interesting. I had no ABGs, which is surprising. No warfarin heparin. Like, no GI. The only GI I got was, like, colostomy stuff. Um, well, I did... This was on my exam. But anyway, like, isolation precautions. But anyway. Um, I, like, really heavily honed in on this stuff. And now I can just go ahead and erase it and put this whiteboard away i had this whiteboard since i started um university so back in 2019 and this isn't actually a whiteboard this is like i don't know what this material is called but it's from the home depot and i saw i think it was a youtube video i don't know if it was a tiktok i don't know if tiktok was really a thing then but um yeah and so basically it's just like this material from home depot and it works great as a whiteboard and it was like only four dollars for this big piece it's lightweight i like how i can move it around and i didn't care to um like hang this up anywhere just because one we moved and then also i like to study in different places so sometimes i would take this down to like the living room and sometimes i would um just study obviously in my bedroom or whatever so it's nice that i can kind of move it around i did have an eraser for this but i don't know where it went so I'm just using a um, tissue paper here, but just erasing this, and I'll probably give this to my younger brother. He's studying computer sciences, and he's in his second year, so this would probably be of use to him, I think. Maybe not. A lot of his stuff is on the computer, but it doesn't hurt to have, I guess. So yeah, I can't believe it. I'm done. I still have like my Mark K notes and everything, like the papers, the notes that I took and my Quizlets and all that. So I need to go in and organize my Quizlets because I want to do something really exciting with those. But that is a wrap on the NCLEX studying and the NCLEX as a whole. It is 9.45, 9.47 I should say, 9.47 a.m. On Wednesday, August 9th, I'm officially a registered nurse. I can't believe it. I posted my results on my Instagram story like an hour ago and people have been so nice and supportive. Like literally even people from high school or people that like I used to work with when I was back in high school are messaging me and like people are just so nice. But I just wanted to share my journey with you guys like the night before NCLEX, day of, my thoughts my results, everything. I just wanted to share it with you guys. I think it's nice and comforting to kind of watch somebody else go through this because I know I watched so many videos on TikTok and Instagram about people going through the exact same thing to make myself feel better. And so I just wanted to let you guys know that if you're preparing for the NCLEX and you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm gonna have a video coming out specifically on how I studied and what I did and more about my scores and my statistics on Archer and everything like that. I believe in you guys. I know you guys are going to pass and you guys are gonna do it. And even if it's not 85 questions, I didn't finish an 85. I don't know how much. I feel like it was more towards like maybe 100. I don't know. Even if you don't pass an 85, literally who cares? The pass is a pass, a win is a win. So yeah, my next step is to, I'm going to email my preceptor from Consolidation let her know and um, also let her know that I'm going to start applying to RN jobs. If you guys don't know, and I don't think I've ever talked about this, but I'm working for the federal government. So I work in office two days a week, Monday, Tuesday, and then I work from home Wednesday through Friday. And so that's what I've been doing since school's been out, so since April. Um, it just timed out perfectly, but now it's time to apply for RN jobs now that I have my license. So I'll probably have more, video more videos talking about that, and I know I've been super behind with my videos, but it's just because I've been so busy with weddings, events, and all these things going on, and then NCLEX studying, but I have content coming out now, and I promise, I know I always say that, but I'm serious. So thank you guys so much for coming along with me on my NCLEX journey, 
and I hope you guys were able to learn something from this video. I hope this provided comfort or insight or anything. And as always, um, thank you guys so much for supporting my journey here. The past four years have been crazy and I hope you guys stick around to see what the rest of the future has in store for me and where I land my first RN job. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.